are you ready to revolutionize your dairy farm and boost your milk production? Kilimo Faida TV, where ukulima ni faida, Prodi presents a comprehensive dairy farming tour and training on 8th August 2025. Join us for an insightful day focused on maximizing dairy production through forage-based feeding systems. What you will learn. Expert strategies for forage planning, ensuring consistent feeding for your herd, master feed formulation techniques designed for high milk yield, discover cost-effective feeding strategies, get practical silage making tips, and experience invaluable on-site demonstrations and learn from expert insights. All this for just 1,400 Kenyan shillings. Your fee includes the full training, a delicious lunch, and a convenient pickup from Molo Town. Our meeting point is Molo Stage at 8.30 a.m. and the training will take place at Molo Baraka Agricultural College running from 9 a.m. For bookings, more information or any inquiry, call us today at 0702-559460 or 0714-361-531. Follow us on all our socials, TikTok, Facebook and YouTube at Kilimo Fida TV. Don't miss this opportunity to transform your dairy farming to a success. at the Dairy Systems and Services Center, where we want to learn about dairy equipment, how they work, their benefits to the farmer. With me, I have Dr. James, who will take us through. Dilavo is the worldwide the biggest milky manufacturing company in the world. So we sell their products here in, this, in Eastern Central Africa. Uh, we sell the milking machines to improve the quality of the, of the milk production improve the, also the health of the animals because the milking machine will make sure all the milk is extracted from the cow. You will have no mastitis and you have also produced the good clean milk. Uh, we have also other accessories which uh, move with the milking machine because we have to make sure the, hair, the under of the cow is health. We have the, the, uh, the dipping solutions for dipping the under after milking. Uh, others are for de-dipping de um, uh, de the, the under and shaking the mastitis before we start milking with a strip cup. Calf pellets for the small calves. You put the pellets here and the calf will feed from, the, from this trough. This other one is called the salt holder. The purpose of this one, you have seen we have gone to some farms and you have seen the, the farmers tie the, 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 the block, the salt block, with a, rope, with, a, with, a, with a rope or with a wire. So after the cow has actually used the, the, the block, it breaks, so it falls down. But with this one, you put the either five block or t uh, uh, five kilo block or 10 kilo block here, when you have hung it somewhere, the cow will use the until the last bit so that uh, saves the, the wastage of the uh, blo uh, salt blocks this is the automatic water drink you hang this one at a corner at a at a additional area which can serve about it can serve five to six animals because cows don't drink at the same time you supply it with water and the cow comes here, presses the nipple, and it, it, the water comes out. It comes about uh, 20 liters per minute. So the water is enough for the cow to, uh, to, to drink and get satisfied. The, 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 the bow is stainless steel, and it is easy to clean if there is any dirt. As compared to outer trap, where you sometimes you find some worms uh, in, in the water if it is not properly cleaned. This one is the ear tags. You have seen the animals here, they have ear tags for animal identification. These are the ear tags that we put on the ears of the animal for identification purposes. Because for record purposes, you must have identified each and every animal. 
This will be the, the, uh, the marker for the, the tags, the applicator for the tags. And this is called the hair creeper. The hair creeper is for shearing the, the cows. You have seen the cows here, especially which are being judged. They are all very smart. This is the, this is the creeper they use. This is the, a scope for scoping the cow concentrates if you are feeding your animals. This is a cow, cow guard. Instead of using a, a rope to tie your cow when you are milking, there is a way you hook it from the, from the leg to the, on top of the shoulder here, and you hook it, and the cow will not kick. Way bad. Way bad is for getting the, the weight of an animal, either a pig or a cow, because especially the heifers, before you have you serve them, they must have a reached a certain weight. So this is the way bad. Also with the pigs, you can get the weight from there. You can actually get the weight of a, of a pig by the, using the way bad. Uh, a farmer's gum boot, specially made for farmers because it is hard if the cow steps on you, it will not, uh, it will not get your toes. These are the brushes for cleaning the utensils, various utensils for the dairy. This will be the vacuum pump. If we are using the machine, you have to use the oil. These two are detergents for cleaning the, the buckets after you have used it. These are the spares for the machine. This is the uh, calf, calf feeder. When you, f uh, when you want to keep your, it's a three liter calf feeder. You are feeding your, after milking, you feed your calf with this one. This is the tea tip solution. Where you have every, after every milking, where you are doing hand or machine milking, you must tea dip your under. This is the solution. This is called adamant. Adamant is used as when the cows calf, the under is normally hard, especially for the heifers. This is a, a, a mint that you, you, uh, you use it instead of using the hot water. This is the tea dip cup, which you use to tea dip the udder, the, 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 the teats, after, after every milking, whether it is machine milking or hard milking. This is the strip cup where you, st you make sure every teat you strip, you strip before you start milking to check where it, the cow has mastitis on that particular teat. This is the small milking machine where you can do one animal one one at a time. And uh, when you have more animals, on the other side we have the, the where you can milk more animals at a time. But if you are doing 800 animals or more, you can see that you can have 10 animals on this side, 10 animals on this other side. You can see when they are being milked, you can see it here, the milk goes to there, then pumped to the cooling tank. Many farmers have the question, is the milking machine, does it evade mastitis? It, help, it helps a lot because the machine does not get tired. Like when you are doing the hard milking, you get you get tired. You do not finish the milk in the uh, in the cistern in the car in the other cistern. But the milking machine from the first cow to the last, where there are two hundred or one hundred, all the milk is uh, is uh, extracted from the other. And can you explain a little bit about the teat dipping? The teat dipping is where before you do the the milking, the first issue is you strip the cow the under to make sure the, 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 the teeth does not have the, the mastitis. Then when you milk, you teeth dip. After, after milking, you teeth dip. The purpose of the teeth dipping is then the teeth at the head, that hole remains open for 30 to 45 minutes. If the cow goes and lies on the dust, or on the mud, and mastitis being a bacterial disease, bacteria are likely to go through the, uh, the teeth. But when you have deep, deep, 
with the proper solution, you have sealed that hole. So the, uh, there will not be bacteria going in. Yeah. And what are some of the solutions that you use to in teeth dipping? What are some of the solutions that our audience can get from uh, your services to use? We have called a uh, uh, iron based solution called uh, dipo concentrate, which we sell and we always supply to the people whom we are selling the, the machines. With the equipment to supply, we, we supply the D tip cup and the solution. Yeah. I believe we have learned all about dairy equipment and you as a farmer have seen all the equipment that you need to have in your dairy farm.